Thanks for joining us on Tandem Radio for a very special segment by design, focused on helping you understand how God designed you so that you may be healthy and productive in fulfilling God's purposes in your life for many years to come. Now let's join our host, health expert and public speaker, Dr. James Prudian. Welcome to the By Design Radio Program. My name is Dr. James Prudian of Prudian Healthcare and PrudianHealthcare.com, where health literacy is the key to longevity. And as long as God has us on this side of eternity, my show is designed to help you and your families feel better, function better, and live as many quality disease-free years as possible. Well, welcome to another show, everyone. It's uh, great to be back on the air with you. Um, This week is going to be continuing our nutritional conversation. The last three shows we started off 2012 with was a three-week presentation on protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water. Those are the five essentials that God has given us to sustain life. Without one of them, without one of them, we wouldn't be here. So last week and the weeks prior, for three weeks, we've set up the foundation of the essentials. Some of the foods that uh, contain good sources of protein, carbohydrates and fats we discussed. This, we're going to continue the nutritional conversation for many weeks. I have a lot of information that I've written um, uh, for you and this week is included. We're going to really continue on the topic or I should say the foundation of nutrition and that foundation of nutrition we're going to take a little bit deeper today within the foundation of protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water. So let's start off with our Bible verse, Luke 137, for with God nothing is impossible. And the show is based upon that because with God and our sense and knowledge of healthcare, we can reverse and we can prevent the chronic illness that is plaguing so many Americans. 95% of chronic illness is preventable. So if that's the case, with us being more literate in a subject matter, we could prevent, with the grace of God, the chronic illness such as obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, cancer, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, osteoporosis, and etc. etc. So let's dive in this week and look at what is it we're actually going to be talking about. I need to introduce you to a friend of mine and his name is Bob. And Bob about a hundred years ago when he invented the Industrial Revolution, when he came along he started to invent food. Now I'm not saying that this was the type of food Again, that was in the uh, Garden of Eden. Uh, But God has a man has intervened in God's plan and has created a lot of food that is not good for us. So today is all about awareness. Um, I have a slide that I show my audiences through one of my companies called Wellness at Work. That's my public speaking company, and it's a slide of a very busy parking lot. And I tell the story that in a busy parking lot, one day I was pushing my grocery cart in. Uh, the parking lot and I had my three-year-old and five-year-old sons with me. I had five children. I had two of the five with me on this Saturday. And one of the things that I noticed was they were kicking and playing and uh, frolicking like two boys do. They were unaware of the danger around them in this parking lot. There were a lot of minivans speeding and pulling in and out of spaces. And I noticed it's interesting how many people go through their lives unaware of situations around them, such as, in this case, the food that they're consuming, the nutritional devalue, the nutritional toxification of the food that they're consuming every day. They're, they're awake and they're conscious, but they're unaware, just like my parking lot example, of how dangerous that food is because of Bob. Now, what Bob has done is he has very carefully, over the last hundred years, manufactured corn, soy, dairy, sugar, flour, processed food, and has changed the beef, pork, and chicken that we're eating every day. So the very biochemical nature of these God-given foods has been manufactured, genetically modified into food that looks and resembles food, but inside of it, biochemically, our bodies are fighting like mad to prevent, and uh, not so much prevent, but to um, take the biochemical nature of these foods and assimilate them in our bodies. Our bodies, just from a cellular perspective, don't recognize what these genetically modified foods are. And we got to start with corn. I mean, the corn that we have manufactured and put into so much of our food is so detrimental to our health. And that's one of the foods that we're going to handle. So let's look at it again. Corn, soy, dairy, beef, pork, chicken, 
sugar, and I discussed with you, we're consuming 150 pounds of sugar per person per year in America now. Uh, we used to eat 15 pounds of the stuff. We're up over 150. Flour, particularly white flour, and processed food. So when we look at that bucket of what I just named, 90% of what Americans are eating are in that processed food, Bob-made food. Now, we learned about proteins and what they are, right, for repair, growth, recovery. Carbohydrates are supposed to give us energy. Fats are supposed to give us some long, sustained energy and some protection because it protects our organs. Vitamins, minerals, and the essentials of water are these amazing foods that we've been blessed with to give us energy to fight cancer. They have, they have uh, uh, to prevent diabetes. It's all right there in the food. Yet we as a nation, as a culture, and now as a world, have decided to manufacture foods better or with the mindset that it's better, easier, longer shelf life than the foods that God gave us. So 90% of the American food budget is spent on processed food. That's toxic. So if we go back to one of the earlier shows, foundational shows on detoxification, if 90% of what Americans are eating are toxic, we are living in a very toxic society. And our and the representation of mortality and morbidity and chronic illness is a direct byproduct of, of this statistic. That 90% of what we're eating on a given day is processed food. 25% of Americans eat at a fast food restaurant every day. And we spend more than $110 billion on fast food every year. That's all Bob. And I'm sorry if your name is Bob, I don't mean to be offensive, but I've always referred to this orchestration of uh, industrialized food and pumped into 90% of our food supply as being done in, in a way through corporate America, I hate to say it, and greed, and how to make money and how to make food some, supposedly better, but it's not better. So as we look at the 90% rule, 90% of what people are eating are, is highly inflammatory. So I need to introduce you to one of the foundational words that makes up the health pyramid, which is inflammation. Time Magazine, for instance, if you want to look this up, uh, did an entire edition. It's called The Secret Killer. It's on my website at naturalhealthcarecenter.com where we list all of the, my recommend my recommendations on reading. I have books. I have Dr. Prudian's Press. All the articles that I've written, for instance, are there. And I, I, I have a, uh, a hyperlink to this Time Magazine article called The Silent Killer. And I'll read you the front cover. It says, the surprising link between inflammation, and inflammation is in capital letters, and heart attacks, cancer, Alzheimer's, and other diseases, what you can do to fight it. So basically what Time did, and I believe this was 2004 that, they, that this, was, uh, this was published, the, they, the scientists have proven, we know that all disease manifests in an inf in inflammatic state. So that means like all disease starts in an inflammatic state. 90% of the foods we're eating is, are highly inflammatic, or in, uh, cause inflammation, and here are the diseases as a byproduct of that. So let's run down where is the inflammation coming from? What, what are the sources of this inflammation? We know that fruits and vegetables are anti-inflammatory. So those farming people who grow fruits and vegetables, which should be the majority of our food supply, that is an anti-inflammatory food. Yet grains, 25% of the uh, American uh, diet is grain-oriented. And remember, corn is not a vegetable. Corn is a grain. So corn makes up that almost a quarter of what we're eating. Refined sugars makes up 19%. Omega-6 oils, not omega-3s, omega-6, like those bad corn oils that you see in the see-through containers at, at, at the supermarkets, make up 18%. Dairy is 11%. Alcohol is 1%. And grain-fed meat is 17%. Because the last time I, threw, I gro drove through a farm, cows were eating grass. And if they were eating grass, that means they were eating an anti-inflammatory food. But we've chosen over the last hundred years to feed our cows grains, which is cornmeal. So we've created a highly inflammatic product, a product of meat that, that, is, that causes inflammation. Okay, And as opposed to that animal being more anti-inflammatory, 
where we've created an inflammatory creature. Now, that was not God's design. That's why the name of the show is By Design. Man has designed its own food. And the byproduct of that man-made, man-engineering food is the host of chronic illness that is plaguing us right now. And the statistics are all in. All of the double-blind studies are in. So we know exactly where it's coming from, what the sources are. Make no mistake about it that we have the statistics and it starts with 90% of our food being inflammatory. The omega-6s and the omega-3s tell that story. Omega-6 fatty acids, which come from corn and, and sunflower oil and safflower oil, they make this stuff called arachnidonic acid, which causes inflammation. Now that inflammation that's caused through these bad omega-6 oils, that's the oil that the manufacturers put in all of our food. The omega-3 oils, the EPA, DHA, the fish oil, the flaxseed oil, oils that are found in walnuts, for instance, these are anti-inflammatory oils, and we don't consume nearly enough of these God-given oils that are very, very healthy for us. Now, when I say oils, because you listen to shows one, two, and three, you know what fats do for us. Oils are fat. So protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water, those are the five essentials. And what we did was the omega-3s, those are the healthy fats. So we're going to look to buy olive oil, flaxseed oil for our, for our homes. Get rid of those vegetable oils because they're loaded full of those omega-6 fatty acids and are horrible for us. And inflammation inside the body puts 25 to 35 million Americans at risk for heart disease and stroke. Now, inflammation is far more dangerous than cholesterol. So we're going to end the show today so with understanding that inflammation, understanding inflammation, the effects of inflammation on our bodies, and how inflammation is the root cause of disease. You've been listening to the By Design radio program, and thank you for joining me, Dr. Prudian, for this episode. Uh, if you'd like to know more information about me and Prudian Healthcare, go to prudianhealthcare.com. And feel free to submit any questions you have. Or, and I also ask all my, my audience to go to drprudian.com, uh, not Prudian Healthcare. That is my blog site. I write a weekly blog that comes out every Wednesday, and I'd love for you to subscribe to it. God bless you, and have a great week. You've been listening to By Design with Dr. James Prudian of Prudian Healthcare. To learn more, visit us at tandemradio.com. That's tandemradio.com, or on Facebook. And don't forget to email us with your questions. We'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, hope you have a healthy week, and we look forward to you joining us next time for more fantastic insights from Dr. James Prudian on By Design, a special production of Tandem Radio.